I love this stuff. I'm no expert, you know, for sure. And you can do this stuff. It's not that hard. But uh, but I know quite a bit about it. You know, I put it all together. I wired it all through it. It works. Uh, we've used it for a year with all the house power, everything. It's it's perfect. So today, instead of doing a normal daily video on what we are up to, we decided that we would give you a uh, um, tour of our electronics cabinet and walk you through what Bob has inside it and the installation and what all is in there. So we will take you into our electronics in the bathroom. So as you can see, Bob is standing in the back of our van and this is the location as to where our bathroom and our shower is, but we also house all of our electronics back there. Yeah, so this was a big deal on um, the design of the van because it allowed us many times, almost always, especially in the vans, you had, you put it underneath the seat and you have these uh, uh, pieces of equipment that are hard to get to, hard to wire. Um, we were going to have a wall here anyway to separate the living area from the bathroom shower and so instead I just made it um, uh, wide enough basically to handle this and the batteries. So it all starts here. We have five lithium Battleborn batteries, 100 amp hours each. They're wired in parallel. Um, so if I take this panel off, um, which I won't do now, then they're just wired in parallel so we keep a 12 volt system but we have 500 amp hours of battery and they're stacked on top of each other right yeah they're stacked and there's 80 20 um, ledges that they go in so basically i created this um, this piece here to put uh, out of 80 20 designed it so the batteries just go in this way so the positive and negative terminals are on this side and the wiring is behind this panel, so it's perfect. So it's protected, there's no worry about anything uh, crossing. Um, so that works great. So that's the heart of it. That's where it starts. We have no, um, at, no ability, I guess, or need to hook out to an external power supply. So everything is charged either through the DC to DC, which I'll go through in a second, um, off of the, uh, the, the alternator on the um, van or the solar, which is 400 watts. Basically what happens comes in, goes through a fuse here, and then this connects into a 3000 watt um, Victron Multi Plus inverter. We keep that on full time, and this actually will charge the batteries too if you have a shore power connection, which I just uh, stated we do not, because a um, couple things there is it adds a little bit more complexity we have to um, have room to put in the uh, the breaker boxes to allow that. And then you have concerns with the uh, external power coming in, the shore power, come the different pedestals from the different campgrounds, RV parks, stuff like that. Didn't want to deal with that. We don't need to. The alternator on the van um, and the uh, solar power takes care of it. Um, but from here then it goes into our Victron Smart Shunt. So I can pull up on my phone the uh, the status of the battery, how many amp hours have it's used and everything else. So all the negative um, off of the battery comes through this shunt. We have various fuses, basically protecting the wires that are coming through. So we have fuses uh, here. You know, all these are fuses um, coming off of those Victron um, pieces. This is a full, we can turn off, it's a, a battery switch to turn off the uh, power going to any of our um, uh, items in the, in the motor or in the van. So there's 50 watts um, coming in here. So the main breaker is a 50 watt breaker. Then I have it um, switched out to uh, 15 amp breakers. And those breakers, each breaker is for each outlet on this. So the only time, only place where we have power um, coming directly from here is on these outlets. These are all ground fault uh, circuit interrupts, so GFCIs. And so in case of water or whatever over here, it'll pop. Um, so those are all set up that way. And then these go out to the very soon. So these are like our lights in the living room. This is Alexa. You know, this is our TV. 
this goes over to a refrigerator and uh, this goes to these outlets here these outlets here are 15 amps um you know this is made for 15 amps so it handles our induction stoves with no problem um we also then have the charging of our batteries and so that's handled two different ways one is we have 400 watts of solar on the top and that's coming through this uh, MPPT um, 130 uh, Victron controller. So all our Victron electronics are Bluetooth. And so everything shows up on my phone. I can see how much uh, watts we're getting, how many amps we're getting off of the solar. Um, and so I can adjust if I need to, if we're under a tree or whatever, I can move out of the tree and I can actually see if it's working or not. We actually have another MPPT uh, controller that we do not use, so this is a spare just because I upgraded the amount of solar we had on the roof. It started out with 200 watts and uh, went to 400, so I needed a bigger uh, controller, charge controller for that. The charging then, the big charging, because we travel quite a bit, we move quite a bit, is dealt with with these DC to DC chargers. And these are set in parallel and there is um, 78 amps that are, are being pulled off of the uh, Sprinter um, diesel. Originally, Mercedes came out and said, you can only pull 40 amps off of your alternator. And so I you know, did some digging, some checking, and decided, no, I'm gonna pull 60, and I felt comfortable. And I did that for quite a while. Well now, Mercedes came out with new guidance to say you can pull 80 off, so they doubled it. So I already had this uh, 18 amp uh, DC to DC uh, smart charger, and so I just put that in line with the other ones. Coming from the battery, there's two uh, six gauge wires or cables that are coming back in here and they get terminated back in here. So, and then there's a fuse off of the battery to handle that amperage. Those come into here, so the power comes in here, and then it gets converted into the uh, battery power, and it comes through these individual circuit breakers. These are very nice. These are probably about $10, $15 off of Amazon, and they just, they just reset. So you don't have fuses, they just reset. So we have um, each one of these uh, DC to DC chargers have their own fuse. Um, the um, charge controller for the solar also has its own. We also then run power from back here from the battery to the front passenger seat and that's where our diesel heater is um, stored. And so then we power it back here. And our air compressor. Yeah, air compressor also. And then we have a circuit breaker that handles that. So if, if you know, something happens or it gets loose, whatever, this will pop. Um, the only time we've ever had an issue was with this, uh, um, this fuse down here. And it was only because when I put it in there, I didn't have the right size, so it popped. Um, but I put the correct size in here and we have not had trouble. So we know this works, we know it's perfect. It's just uh, having the right one in there is what you need. All our 12 volt um, appliances, or I shouldn't say appliances, lights, fans, comes through here. So they are indiv individually fused. It's like your car would have, or an RV obviously has this also. Um, so if, the, if something happened to the fan, it would then pop this fuse and then we would just change the fuse back here. Um, some other items that I have in here is I have uh, the travel router and this handles our internet. So we have visible um, wireless which is from Verizon and they limit you to one um, tethered or I'm sorry one uh, hotspot device so if you tether it, then you can have unlimited. So I tether it through the travel router, we connect into the travel router and that works great. And we'll do a video on our phone service and all the tips and tricks on that and how we get internet service. 
Yeah, and so I also have then, um, this is something I added because I wanted it, our, the chassis battery has um, phantom, uh, what do I want to say, phantom uh, power sources coming off it. So we left it for, I don't know, two, three weeks, and when we came back, the battery was dead. So I've added this in here, and this is just a Walmart um, uh, trickle charger for the starting battery. So what happens, and this runs off of 120 volts, so this needs to be on, but this keeps our starting battery um, charged at all times. So it's like having it, a battery in your basement for your boat or something during the winter, you put it to a trickle charger and it just, you know, just keeps it uh, charged. So this works out really well, I like that. Um, we also have, everything's hooked through a, a Luxa. And so these power our outside lights. We have a light on each side of the van. And then Alexa deals with that. We can, there's switches, we can turn it on ourselves here, but um, we can just tell Alexa to turn on outside lights and she does it. Um, let's see, what else do we have for power? I think, uh, I think that's about it. Um, it's It works super well. We are rarely low, and that was mainly when we were down like Arizona and stuff like that, where we hadn't moved much. And we only had 200, or no, I'm sorry, we only had 160 watts of uh, solar at the time. Now we have 400, so it'll change. The only thing is, the w depends on how much TV use we have, uh, if we're using induction stoves. And in the winter, um, with the short days, you use much more TV. And so power needs are more. And then the sun angle doesn't uh, allow that solar to charge quite as good. And the short days, of course. So in the middle of summer, no problem. And we are usually moving. So with this here, having 78 amps um, filling these up, it goes very fast. Um, I think that's it. it uh, we love it. This wall it was one of the biggest uh, design features that worked because I can go in here and troubleshoot very well. I don't have to pull everything out of a, you know, underneath the, where the couch is and get under there. No, I have it right here. It's super easy. It's a really slick system. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it turned out very well using the 8020 also because I've moved stuff around. I've added pieces. 8020 is the way to go. So if, if this was wood, I'd have holes all over the place that I'd have to deal with. 8020, there's no holes. I can move this stuff up and down. Very easy. Yeah, um, we have everything bolted to the 8020. Even the the heaviest piece there is uh, bolted to the 8020 being held on the side. And then it also has a shelf underneath it. So I yeah. mean, it, Bob designed this all by himself. There was not a plan that he went off of. He just came up with this own idea himself. And then, you know, the whole key was we were gonna have, you know, four inches anyway. So I think we might have 12 now or whatever. So we gave up eight inches, but no, we didn't give up eight inches because now the, the couch has none of this in there. Right. And it has, and the wiring's nice and clean and easy and organized and, you know, not where we throw something underneath there and it pull the wire out. Or right. Whatever, and so. we then can use the entire underneath couch to for storage. Yeah. And having the batteries, and you can't do this with uh, regular lead acid batteries because they need a vent and, and there's other issues. But um, with the, the lithium, they can be stacked any which way. So it's like, okay, we'll, we'll do that. And the nice thing with lithium, fingers crossed, I mean, there's a 10 year warranty on them. So yeah, we won't own the van. We'll have a different van in 10 years. So these will not need to have access, but if they do, I can pull this panel out, which, you know, I have to do a few little things to get it out. And I can pull out individual batteries without any issue. So it's, it really worked very well. Another thing that really worked well is, which is a minor thing, but I originally was going to have this behind a wall for some odd reason, because I thought, well, once I design it, everything's Bluetooth, I don't have to touch it. Well, no, I'm in here all the time, is I added this door. Um, the nice. door is so great. I mean, and we cut it out ourselves and hooked it up with the 8020 and then fabricated the um, white thing to fit in around the window so it's very clean. Yeah, and it you know works great because then I can see what may be going on um, without even opening the door or whatever. And I can every once in a while check these uh, circuit breakers because 
sometimes they 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 pop off off these DC to DC chargers so and we also need the door because our shower is right above Bob's head there and then that protects all of the electronics I know people have been concerned about that and water getting there it, it's nearly impossible and then even with the pan in the bottom in the shower it's impossible because there's no way for any wire to come loose and go in the pan and the pan is an oil pan and has a very tiny hole so there is no concerns about water well and there's actually so the the oil pan is one thing but if you take that out there's a lip this big so the water would go out that yeah way before it goes. and it doesn't matter so all this is 12 volts so um, up until you get up here so this is this is more water um, problematic but it's uh, protected and then down here this is all 12 volt until you come out of here then it's a 120 volt that runs up to this box here so it's only this all these wires can come loose they're only 12 volt wires it's it's not a problem it's only when you're at 120 volt that you have concerns and there's no concerns now would I love this and I, I my intention was to have this all sealed you know yeah that'd be that'd be perfect but it's not a problem this barely puts out any water because it's just gravity feed so it's not like if this is a normal pump well no and then you have issues where your head's up there and it's spraying there's no spraying because it's it's just yeah, I mean it's plenty but it's not uh, there's no spray yeah you know? so it works it works very well and like I said if uh, if I could have made it so it was all just totally sealed I would have but it's it, it's not necessary it's, it's not either necessary, and no. you like to futz with that stuff all the time so it's so great to have the door for you just to be able to open it in and out and you don't have to unhook anything unbolt it you know it's it's really really an amazing system that you've created yeah well like i said originally i was going to put a wall you know just a regular uh, panel in here and uh, that went to work so this really works yeah this works super well it's on a magnet and so it stays shut there's several magnets on it yeah, you know, and use these um, uh, uh, bus bars for the power. I mean, everything's nice. I, I cut all my own wire and then, um, you know, did all my own wiring just because you have such unique lengths of wire. Um, but they're all crimped correctly with the tool and then they're wrapped with this, um, you know, whatever, this uh, protecting on all of them. Uh, it's heat, that heat, heat, wrap. heat shrink wrap. Yeah nice job i mean it's so impressive and bob has always been a tech geek and he loves to create things like this and so it, it it's turned out so fantastic so really the what i'm looking forward to is ordering our next fan and uh, <laughs> um, building it out again but then using what we did which isn't too many things that we dislike but enhancing it from there but but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely hit us up for questions. Um, I love this stuff. I'm no expert, you know, for sure. And you can do this stuff. It's not that hard. But, uh, but I know quite a bit about it. You know, I put it all together. I wired it all through it. It works. Uh, we've used it for a year with all the house power, everything. It's, it's perfect. Um, so, yeah, hit us up with questions in the comments. Um, like the video. Definitely subscribe. Uh, we are putting out more and more videos. Uh, Gay works a lot of hours putting out these videos, so we love to have people follow along. We have the van, we have the sea dory, which we potentially will do the Great Loop next year, um, which will be, be a lot, of, and we travel international, and we do a lot of different things. And so, anyway, subscribe. We'd love to have you follow.